Old School RuneScape has a lot of bosses. 154 to be exact. Killing bosses and hunting for elusive drops has always been my favourite part of playing this game. Oh, yes. I've never, aside from leagues, played on an Iron Man account, but the idea of every drop being meaningful and usable and not just sold on GE is actually just so exciting to me. So here's the concept, we're going to be playing RuneScape as if it's a boss rush game, so we're going to be sticking to one segment of the map until we've taken on every boss available to me. The more in-depth rules of this will be that some of the challenges with multiple difficulties, they'll be considered completed when I finish the easiest difficulty, but I'll have to come back and do the harder difficulties later, sort of like, they'll be like a bonus level. Um, this will include Inferno, um, the Tombs of Amasket Invocations, and the Theater of Blood. Slayer bosses will be similar. I'll take all the Slayer bosses on eventually, but they'll not be a condition for progressing if the Slayer level is just an unreasonable grind. This won't come up often, it only affects like two bosses, um, but it's just going to stop us being stuck in some of the star areas until like 91 Slayer. There's one other problem I have to think about. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with that yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, let's pick a name, pick a look, and get on with it. Okay, here we are in Lumbridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it there, me. So, a couple of things before we start. Um, first off, pay no mind to the fact that there's Halloween decorations and Halloween events going on all over the place in these clips. Um, these may have been taken a little while ago. May have been putting off editing this for a bit. Secondly, the shadow play pop-ups. I swapped to OBS after like 10 clips. Please pay no mind to this, but at the top will be gone as well. This is just me learning how to record stuff in this game. So that'll be solved real quick. Third thing. First area is free to play. So all the free to play general areas, including the wilderness. Looks like this. Cool. Just so we're all on the same page. I'll let myself continue. We're going to be bashing through the free to play quests as quick as we can. Get all the free to play quest bosses. And yeah, should be a really simple episode. There's not really that many restrictions just now. I'm basically just a free to play Iron Man. Anyway, continue. Me. Um, so obviously I'm on a free to play world. And we are currently free to play until we kill Obor and Prey Fighter. So I'm definitely not saying that name right. I think the first thing I'm going to focus on is getting some quests done. I think trying to do all of the free to play quests is going to be my best bet to start with. Um, then, oh, while I'm doing that, we'll try and develop a plan for getting keys and, and moving on. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. I'll catch up with you guys whenever I complete a quest. Okay, I actually didn't know you could only claim runes or the bone arrow, so I just like claimed the bone arrow first and then went to claim runes and got told where to go. Um <laughs> that's about unfortunate. Um yeah. So probably should have got the runes and not the <laughs> the arrows and the bow, but oh well. You live and you learn, I guess it'll be half an hour before I can get more. And there we have it, we've done our first quest, Cook's Assistant. Nice 300 cooking XP, one quest point. Brings us four cooking. Well, let's go. And that should be pure done. Um, so that gives us another quest point. 60 coins, I guess. And some crafting XP, which might give us a level. Give us two. Nice, we got some XP making the balls, so. Nice. Next one being Missile and Mystery. So you guys once have navigated that horrible mirror section in that. It's insane to me how popular this fishing spot is here. I'm not playing on free to play in forever. And there's people just here just fishing some anchovies. That's not really sick how many people there are going about. Anyway, off to solve a murder. And that's Missile and Mystery done. That gives us 600 crafting XP, which is super nice. A ruby, an emerald, a sapphire, and another quest point. I think it's gonna get us a couple of levels actually. Yeah, up to level seven. That's really nice. Old bracelets, boots. I don't think we're gonna do any of those soon, but it's nice to get the levels. And with that done, we're on to another classic quest. We're gonna do Restless Ghost, which will get some prayer XP. Nice, and that's the Restless Ghost completed. 
because it's yet yeah, another quest point and they're quite a bit of prayer XP. It's gonna get us a good few levels. I can't remember what it actually gets you to. Nine with eleven remaining, so basically ten. And that gives us a combat level. Let's go. Nice one. Next we're gonna do X marks the spot. Which I think gives us a clue scroll as well, which would give us some cool shit. So Okay, that's X marks the spot done. Another quest point. A little 300 XP lamp. Not sure what I'm going to use that on yet, to be honest. I'm going to move that down there just now. Um, so, Drainer Manor. We're actually quite close to that. Um, I'm going to do this close scroll and then uh, next clip will be the rewards from that. Hopefully, we can get something good. Okay, we have the casket. It's the last step. Um, in terms of good, probably better weapon or staff, I guess. Some runes. Just something that will keep. Uh, be useful for training even. Would be nice. That's actually really good. A staff and some ranged armor. Is that level one armor? It is. Okay. Um, it's probably worse than this, but it'll be useful when we're doing some range training. Then we got some unlimited earth runes for free. Nice. Um, next up, we're gonna be doing witch's potion. I'm just going to bang on with that, I've got some stuff to get, some witches to help. And once again, catch up with you once it's done. Okay, I'm back earlier than expected again. Um, I've decided I'm actually going to use this lamp on magic. It's probably not the most, <laughs> it's not the most difficult thing to train, but skipping the early levels and getting some of the more powerful spells would be good. Plus getting onto Earth Blast would be nice inside of the staff, so. I'm going to use it for some early magic XP. Then we'll do Witch's Potion and all that, which will also get some magic XP and we'll be able to, to fire strike before we even know it. So we're at bed to buy the eyes of Newt. I think I'm actually going to grab myself two coins. Sheesh, I'm definitely grabbing myself our best in slot, <laughs> our best in slot hat. God damn. Nice. Anyway, this is more updates than is necessary for Witch's Potion, I realise, but I'm having fun. I hope you are too. Nice, and that's Witch's Potion done. Let's give us some more magic XP. There's a guy- oh, he's gone. Of course he is, when I go film. There's a guy there called, <laughs> called Billy just following me around during that quest. I'm gonna- I'll think of my shadow play, actually. It's gonna have the thing at the top, but I'll just put that in. This is a guy just following me over to the rats when I was killing them. I don't know what he was up to. He was living his best life. I think the next thing I'm going to do is Imp Catcher, which means I need to get killing some Imps. Nice, finally we got one of these. It's the Black Bean. I mean, we're around looking for Imps, and that would be very successful. Um, so with a Paladar, seems to be, I've had a couple here. I've had a couple between here and Lumbridge as well, but... Honestly, not as many as I'd like, so... Hopefully this is the spot. We'll see, though. Nice, this is just two kills after we get the Yellow Bead. Many imps later. It has been so long since my last bead, and I got another yellow one. Oh, I've gone from like one or two strength to eight. Just killing these imps. And we've got two yellows. Even more imps later. Again, <laughs> God, killed so many imps that I get another duplicate. Oh my god. Oh well. Eventually we're gonna get them, right? One of these days. This is the next kill after the black beat of duplicate. Let's go. Also, why is this six six and a half K? I don't know. Why are some of these more expensive than others? Like they're all the same drop rate. I don't I don't get it. Oh my god, this is next again. That's the red bead. Literally right after the white one. That's so lucky. Oh, nice, let's go turn these in. They started off rough, but honestly, like the end luck was insane. Nice, and that's ink catcher done, so that's air in 75 more magic XP and an amulet of accuracy. That's really good for us, it's our first amulet that's useful. 
Next up is Romeo and Juliet. Honestly, it doesn't really give us anything. It gives us a bunch of quest points for some reason. Um, which is nice for uh, getting towards Dragon Slayer. So, do that. And I think I'm going to upgrade some of the gear as well. Get some magic stuff on Varok and so on. Yeah. I'll uh, see you when Romeo and Juliet is done or some other notable stuff happens. Okay, that's Romeo and Juliet done. Absolutely no benefit apart from the quest points, but we will need those for Dragon Slayer and other quests down the lines. Yeah, the quest's kind of ass to be honest, but it's done. So, on to the next one, which will be Rune Mysteries. I might actually quickly do Stronghold of Security first just to get some kind of money. Struggling a bit, I've got literally one coin and I would like to get some melee upgrades, so. I think I'm gonna nip over and do that and end of Rune Mysteries. Okay, we got the 10k. Um, I guess I'm gonna try getting the boots, but honestly I just made it here, so... Yeah, fuck it, we'll go for it. I might die here, but hopefully not. If you don't take the colourful ones, you're a weirdo. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Okay, and that's Rune Mysteries done, so we now can access Rune Essence Mines and Runecraft if I want to. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to really do that, apart from for prerequisites. I think in the future I've got a pretty solid plan for what we're going to do for runes. Um, to make it a bit less uh, unbearable too, so... But yeah, good thing to have nonetheless. Okay, onwards. So next thing I'm going to do is Below Ice Mountain. So upon having a look at this, I totally forgot that Below Ice Mountain has a level 10 mining requirement. So we'll need to do that first. So off to the tin and copper I go for now. Oh, we got our first random event. <laughs> now use the lean emote. Well, that was worthless. Anyway. Back to my mining job. And that's 10 mining done. So we can now go and do the ice mountain. Nice. That wasn't too bad actually. Starts off super slow. Like real slow at one mining, but we got there. And I think we can probably do like dig site or something later as long as we don't need too many more levels. Yeah. Off to do blue ice mountain. I go. So Turns out you need 16 quest points to start this. Yes, okay, so we'll do Black Knight's Fortress. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, Father's right here, so makes sense to me. Um, so we'll put a pin in that. We'll come back to the Condodo runes later. Disguise acquired. Oh, here he comes. Comes my garbage. Wee! Boom. Your stews in our fucking shambles. I'll take that, to be honest. The cash supply is running a little low. I think. Now I have enough to deploy this mountain. Okay, now I'm actually gonna do that. Not, not pretend this time. We've got a posty peat random event, let's see what we can get. What are you gonna give me as a reward? Four uncut diamonds, that's actually that is not bad. Well off I go to finish this quest. <clears throat> oh shit. Boss fight. I think I said bring a pickaxe if you don't want to fight. The four pillars in the corners. Oh shit. Okay, this thing's gonna fuck me up. Jesus Christ. K. 
Okay, I think I need to go back there with food. And yeah, food is the main thing. I have burnt so much of this inventory of food. Oh my god. I don't know if that's normal for the local level, but holy. Interesting, I just got a beginner clue scrolling Um Cool. I still thought about training some attack and defence. I need to do some defence because uh, getting absolutely hit through pretty much everything because my defence is one. I think first I'm actually going to do this close roll. Here we are, we just got our beginner casket. Through here. What are we going to get? Oh! It's an upgrade to the leather bombs. I Probably can buy them somewhere, but good. More air runes, always good. Yeah, not the worst thing ever. Also bought a Mithras Sim for when we can eventually use it. Uh, also be a while yet, we need 20 attack, but I think I'm gonna just buy out 20 attack so that I can use that to get the other levels up. It's so much better than anything I have. I actually just had the realization while I was getting food there that I could probably just do Vampire Slayer and see it's up here. And get the attack level immediately. So I think I'm just gonna do that. This seems like a good time to talk about the quest boss that's gonna be taken on in the first area, that being free to play. You can see on screen now the five quest bosses will be required to kill. I've left on one of them as a little mystery, because I did not know that this person was a boss. Comment down below if you know who this person is. And don't cheat, don't go forward in the video. Comment right now. I had no idea that this was considered a boss quote unquote but yeah these are the five bosses we're going to be taking on first one will be count drainer as i said i'm going to be doing vampire slayer to get the attack level so that i can use a better weapon for training let's get into it okay here we are you might be thinking I'm pretty under leveled for this and you'd be absolutely right the plan is to say something um and that's not well i think you set it up over here so we'll get the run energy ready it's very possible I die here. Here. Wait for him to come down. Then go over here. Nope. Here. I swear you used to go. And there we go. Okay. I was getting worried there. Very concerned that I wasn't going to be able to save Swan. I don't know if I could kill him without it. Oh, I thought you had to use the stake on him. Nice. That is Dragon Slayer done. That gives us a lot of attack XP. Is that going to get us to hopefully over 20? 22, that's really nice. You can now use the Mythos Scimitar Rebot to train the other skill, like the strength and defense up. I think I'm gonna do that. I'll probably be back once I've got. Probably base 20 for now. From there. Um, I'm not gonna break down each of those levels, so it'll be really quick. But yeah, I think that's our first boss down, too. Good start. Got our casket from hands. Let's see what we've got. Oh shit, how'd that get in there? Oh, crazy. Okay, and this next goblin. Monk, okay, 28 strength. Very nice. Now we're going to go to defense. We're going to go to my defense. And I'll see you once we have that. And with the kill of this goblin right here. This goblin. This, this goblin right here, we have 20 defense. Can we upgrade some of our gear? Let's go take on that big rock bastard. Let's look at that gear. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go. We ain't mining shit this time, buddy. Come here. 
build. One now. Build. Let's try. try. Build. 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 Oh, he's got nothing now. Build. He's got nothing. Oh. Build. Oh, okay. Build. 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 We're gonna eat, we're gonna eat. For Jesus, there we go. We got 2,000 coins, didn't actually know about that. And access to the ruins of Cam Dozel. Next up, we'll be doing Goblin Diplomacy. And that's Goblin Diplomacy done. I got some crafting XP and a gold bar. Got that quest, just. <laughs> it sure is, definitely is one of the quests of all time. You know what I mean? It's a crafting level, though. Next, we will do Knight's Sword. Which is gonna be sick. That's gonna get some good smithing XP. I actually don't know if there's a requirement to start of that. Check that first. Why can't I see it? There it is. Ten mining. And we got that already. Nice. Yeah, gonna go do sword, so catch up with his once I'm done that, or if anything happens in between. And there we go, nice sword done. Gives us 12.7k smithing XP. Absolutely nuts. 29 something from that. Next up we'll have Demon Slayer, which has another one of the bosses on the list, so let's get that done. So I need to train some magic, just safe spot the hill giants. There was a chance we spoon the key we're gonna need later anyway. Um, I got 25 magic, so that's our first teleport on the account. I really want to try and get all these unlocked with all Fargo, Columbridge and Valador, just so we don't have to run about so much, because, man, it's really, oh, <laughs> blue scroll, look at that. <laughs> that's very magic. Nice. Um, I'm going to keep going either until I run out of runes or I hit 37, whichever comes first, which I'm pretty sure will be running out of runes. Um, I just want to get all the teleports unlocked eventually. Yeah, I'm just going to finish off these runes and then I'm going to do Demon Slayer. I've been burying all the bones from the hill giants when I'm going to do this and this. Just to not want. I'm a liar. I'm an absolute liar. <laughs> I got ahead of myself a little bit. This brief bones <laughs> bring us to 20 prayer and 20 combat, I guess. Um, super nice. We're going to keep grinding on this prayer level 
two, forty-three, forty-three. Because I want to get all the protect protection prayers. So yeah, we continue through this rune step. Nice. We actually got our first giant key. So it'll be good to have a few of these. So always nice to get them early because we'll be probably grinding them out. I don't know if there's actually much we need from over. So I don't have any kills to do early. I'd say. Only required to get one to leave a uh, free to play, but maybe worth grinding and get some new items and stuff. So Let's stack up a good few of these on the grind for prayer. We're in lone runes now, only 40 some casts, so before we know what we do in Demon Slayer, they're at 32 magic, and I think that'll be the last, last level we get. Yeah, unless we get some good hits, I think 32 is where we're going to end, so. Next level will probably be Demon Slayer. Okay, this fucking wizard just will not leave me alone, man. I'm gonna try and run around these fucking. Whoa. And I also keep just like randomly leaving the instance. It's like the boundaries are so weird. Go! Oh, whoa. Yes! Finally! No! Trying to do this for so long. His health bar's gone. Bang! Fuck off! My god, no! Oh, I'll retaliate. It. It's fine. This guy just will not stop. This fucking wizard man, I swear. Right, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till the demon comes over here. If this guy fucking holds me, I swear. Turn on all this shit. It's all my fucking health on the fucking wizard. Six and I got dragged. There we go. I think six and I got dragged at the fucking instance, man. Oh, this is more painful than it should have been. Gabindo, Gabindo Puchai, Brother Celia, rest in piss. Oh my god, there is just no way. Uh, I did it already. Carlon? This fucking weirdo ball. Fucking Aber. Camera and thumb. Cabindo. Burchai. Harlem. Get the fuck. Nice. I'm gonna die in this animation. I swear, part of the next quest I should do is shield or rav, but... Where the fuck are my fancy boots? Anyway, what is it, but... I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. I need someone else. Okay, so I made a huge mistake in picking Phoenix Gang, and apparently everyone picks Phoenix Gang. So I literally made... <laughs> tried to help on with this account with my main. Couldn't do that. Made a brand new account that's just called Lomeo Arav Alt. So that I did tutorial and ran up here, got the fucking other half on him, and then handed it to myself. Because no one, like literally no one was fucking black arm. Everyone's Phoenix Gang in this thing. That's a little bit about me. 
620. Huge. What, what am I complaining about? I get 600 whole coins for that. Aaron is the chicken next. So, I don't know chicken anymore. We got 300 coins. Ah, that's a bit. Four quest points. Fuck, you turn someone into a chicken, man. Look at you. Look at you. Anyway, absolute state of oddness aside. Doric's quest time. It's over, and that's Doric's quest done. Get a little bit of mining XP, some coins, and we can use these anvils that are next to nothing. Cool. Does that get us a level? It does, it gets us three, in fact. Nice. We had a tiny grind there to get uh, 15 mining for the iron, but to be honest, it wasn't really that noble. It took like maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> it was nothing. Uh, next up, I'm going to do Prince Ali Rescue. We saved Prince Ali. That is Prince Ali Rescue done. 700 coins, we don't have to pay for the gate, which is nice. And pretty big unlock here, we now have enough quest point to enter the Champions Guild. Which is pretty good because it holds some upgrades that we're going to get later once we get our melees a bit higher. Which... It's kind of a huge W for us. Well, Charlie wants a herring and the shop doesn't stock them, so. Arst. Decided to stop and grind a bit of strength. And with this barbarian, as we hit, the 30 strength. Just hope to attack, but I think I'm actually going to do Pirate Strider before grinding out 30 attack for some adamant stuff. Nice. And this is pirate treasure done. Nice. Uh, let's discuss some coins, gold ring, and an emerald. Cool. I think we have two quests left: Corsair Curse, and then of course Dragon Slayer. Then we're officially finished our free-to-play quest game, and with that, every quest boss I'm required to kill. So, I think I'm just going to do Corsair Curse now. Should be fine to, uh, to kill the, the guy in that. And then, train a bit for Dragon Slayer. I think I'm going to need higher stats. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with 20, 22, 30, 20. So, I think I'm going to get at least base theories. Uh, get some adamant upgrades and then, and then run it. Yeah. See you at the end of Corsair Curse. Hey, and we talk to the captain. Mm, yep. Uh, perfect. Two quest points and access to a bank I'll probably never use unless I come back to kill the Ogres people. Yo, editor drunk is here. Um, the keen eyed amongst you may have noticed that I uh, missed a certain someone when I was filming this quest. To be honest, I just completely forgot that, that this guy came out of the boss. I actually can't remember if I forgot or just didn't know yet. Like, I hadn't checked and I just assumed that I knew who was a quote-unquote boss. Obviously, we completed the quest, which means I didn't kill him, but I didn't get footage of it. Um, so, here's a quick reenactment of how that went. leaves us with just Dragon's Lair left. The final quest boss for the giant grind. Cool. Next goal for me is going to be to get base fairies in my melee. Got 30 strength already, going to go for attack and then defense. I will get some upgrades from the Champions Guild. Got enough quest points for that a little while ago. Get some better gear from there. Going to be going for a sword since I believe Elvark's like most dragons weak to stab, so yeah, on the the melee grind for a bit. And just coming up here, one more hit, or decent hit. It's not, not quite it. 
on bonk. Let me attack. So we're gonna swap to defense, but I'm actually gonna swap over to an adamant weapon just to speed up the grind a bit. Plenty of cash for it, so I'm gonna go grab that. And I'll be back when we prepare a defense. Okay, and with this barbarian kill and the next couple hits, two more. Rest of 30 defense. Base theories. Think. Think. Being the operative word. That'll be good enough for Dragon Slayer 1. Are you sure about that? Think. I'm gonna go grab some steel to the legs to make some money. I'm just gonna go quickly. Update for Quickly bank this stuff. Grab some steel plate legs, sell them, make some money, and upgrade the adamant gear. Apart from the shield, obviously, this is the best we have just now. We upgrade to adamant gear. Keep the sword for now. And yeah, then we're gonna attempt Dragon Slayer 1. Here we go, if we trade he Hexa, I guess. Buy an adamant full helm for 3.5k. Oh, bargain. Compared to the other two. And there we go. Oh, what a chad. This is the gear we're going to be taking on Elvar again. This for the, uh, will be the Dragon Fire Shield. Adamant Sword. Nice. Right, I'm going to get Dragon Slayer Slayer. I need to grab some planks. I grabbed two, turns out you need three. Oh my God. So, <clears throat> gonna go quickly grab some planks. I need nails. So, I'm going to check if we can buy those. I know the sawmill itself is for members, but. I could probably make them actually. Nails. I cannot. Cool. Well, I'm gonna check if I can buy them, and if not, we're gonna go smithing, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so, moment for. Th Everyone here? Hello? We are knocking out 34 smithing to make some nails. So buckle yourself in boys, it's math time. So 34 smithing is 20,224 XP for that level. We need to reach that 6,970 XP. Smithing an iron ore into a bar gives us 12.5 XP per bar you make. Smithing three of these bars into an iron kite shield gives 75 XP. So per bar, that's 75 divided by 3 for each bar in the kite shield, plus 12.5 for making the ore into the bar. So we get 37.5 XP per iron ore. So the bars needed is our 6,970 XP divided by our total XP per bar, 37.5, which is 185.8666666 bars. So 186. But if you've played this game before, you know that iron has a 50% chance to fail when you're making it from an ore into a bar. Which means in a perfect world, we need 372 ore. But this is not a perfect world. So I'm going to go for an even 400 ore to make into bars. And if we don't have enough, I have been scammed. Let's do it. Okay, we finally got... She finally didn't take that long. We got 34 smithing. He made some steel bars and make the nails we need. So we need 90. Perfect. And that's our 90 steel nails for Dragon Slayer. What else do I need to grab? So I need to get a Wizard's Mind Bomb. Pretty sure I can get that from the pub here. Lobster by half, silk will be a stall. Blank in the wilderness. Make one with soft clay, a pores be with eight crafting. Nine crafting. Perfect. We'll grab these last couple requirements, then we'll start the quest. Oh, I have gathered all the stuff I need. Here. So now I'm gonna start the quest. First time this quest, be aware that your combat level is lower than the recommended level of 45. 
One or more of your skills are also lower than recommended. Now gear. <laughs> what that is though. Five thirty-three magic. Stop for over telling grab. I should get that so I don't have to pay. I'm gonna get that so just know when we're telegrabbing it's because I got the magic level. <laughs> With us. So hopefully it goes well. Nice. And first and the clams like to invite themselves into the boss fight. I think that's gonna work. Um, yep. And first map piece. Weird. Okay. I had a video on the background. <laughs> first map piece acquired. That was uh, four days ago. GDQ, Dark Souls, all bosses speedrun. If you're curious, what I'm watching while I'm doing this, by Regal, Regal. It's very good. Love the speedrun. Anyway, now to the next map piece. I got the magic level over be here, so I see we'll pick up the Lauren uh, and. I'm going to be telegrabbing this so I don't waste money. Yeah. See you the next map piece. Now, as a wise man once said, ask for 10k from an Iron Man, you get hurt. If you know, you know. So, finally comes time for us to talk about this guy. So, some of you may have commented, and if you comment, this is Melzar the Mad, you'd be completely right. So, one of the bosses of the free to play quest is just that random guy that talks about cabbages that you kill when you're going for one of the map pieces during Dragon Slayer 1. Who knew? I mean, maybe you did. I didn't until I started trying to do this. So, yeah, here we are. Luckily, I randomly took some footage of me killing Mills out of the mad, because he's kind of funny and talks about cabbages, so I have it. And um, yeah, here we are going for the last map piece and killing one of the quest bosses on our list. This guy, this guy's talking a lot. He's just talking leaving him alone if he's a bit rock. Talk about custard, talk about cabbage, I don't even know, man. He's lost it. Some shit just fell over in my room. I almost gone. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> oh, I just thought you said he's not spawned any cabbages. It's that boom. Easy. Cabbage man down. <laughs> nice. Took a while to kill that lesser demon. He kept moonwalking out of the safe spot and fucking ended up over here. Then he'd end up in here and I couldn't hit him, so I'd have to flinch him, then mage him, then flinch him, then ma- uh, I don't know what was going on, but yeah. That's that done. I'll talk to the Duke, I think it's going on with Delhi. Here we are with the Duke. I seek a shield that will protect me from Dragon Breath. Dragon Crandor, mate. Mark, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man, I got it, don't worry. Can I get the shield now? Yeah, can I get the... Mm -hmm. Yep, father, he's very afraid. Yep. Can I get the shield or not? Cheers, yeah, man. Let's go fuck a dragon. I mean... Um, Surround the show. Shit. A storm. <laughs> His legs are quick. <laughs> Ned, what kind of goofy show is that?
Black Knight instead of Richard. Yes. Oh my god, this took so long. I was so dumb for thinking I could do this with this shit and the stats. Oh my god, they were flinching forever. <laughs> but it's done. It's done. Let's get over here. Let's go show this to the fucking boys. Alright, we go speak to fucking Oziach. It's like a sneeze. Yeah, it's like the dragon was, yes. Here's the seed. Yeah, here's the seed. Slap on the ground. Huge XP drops. 18.65 in strength, defense. Thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you made it this far in. It means more than you can know. And um, if you have any feedback on the video, on the idea or concept of the series, Please, please comment down below. Um, I really want to hear what you think. Um, if you think maybe I should make some adjustments to any of the, the stipulations and rules, let me know. Um, I'm more than willing to kind of tweak and edit the ideas of what people think I want. Just now, kind of trying to strike a balance between what is attainable for me, while not having infinite free time to play the game, and what I think would be f a fun way to make it myself an Iron Man account. So if you enjoyed the video, please do consider liking and subscribing for more. I will be trying to post these as regularly as possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's pretty much all filmed, so I'll speak as again edited. And I'll see you guys soon. Again, thank you so much. Love you all. Goodbye.